This video demonstrates a single van configuration for an NX Gate Ace appliance. Open your browser and go to the URL. And log in to the admin dashboard by using the credentials and filling out the details of the user ID and password. And here, before the installation, the link status for WAN1 is down as shown. After that, go to the network option in the side panel and select WAN. WAN connections can be configured in three modes. In this video, we look at configuring the WAN interface in DHCP mode. Select the DHCP mode and click on Save. The device will now obtain an IP address automatically via DHCP on the selected WAN interface. Once the WAN interface is set to DHCP, we need to make sure that the WAN interface is added to the right zones. So next, go to the firewall option in the side panel and select Rule. Over there, make sure that the WAN1 interface is selected in the list of interfaces within the WAN zone. If not selected, you can edit the WAN zone and select WAN1 interface in the list of the interfaces for the WAN zone. Also confirm the default settings for the WAN zone. One is incoming as accept, forwarding as reject, outgoing as accept. Once you confirm the default settings, save these settings. Once configured, check for the WAN1 status in the dashboard. If an IP address has been received on WAN1 via DHCP as configured earlier, you have correctly set up the WAN interface. To confirm internet connectivity, go to the status, select the system command option. In command name, select ping and type google.com as the second option in argument. And click on the run button. The ping reply from Google will confirm that the router is connected to the internet or not. You can also check it locally by opening command prompt on your system and sending ping to google.com. Thank you for watching.